Hey, this is Andrew Townsend, the Campaign Marketing Manager at eLearning Brothers. In this video, I'll show you how to get started on a project in Scenario VR. When you first log in to Scenario VR, you will see all of your projects on the My Scenarios screen. To get started on a new project, select the blue Create Scenario button in the top right corner. If you hover over that button, you'll see a green button appear below it. You can use that button to import a scenario if you already have one zipped on your computer. This makes it very easy to share projects with developers outside of your organization. Selecting the Create Scenario button brings up a dialog box. Here you'll upload the 360 image or video you'll be using, as well as name the project, give it a description, and assign a category label. The category label and description are not required, but help when making your scenario searchable in the Public Scenarios section. If you will not be publishing your scenario publicly, you do not need to worry about these options. Once you click Create Scenario, your image or video will be uploaded and then stretched over the 360 view sphere. Depending on the size of your file, this may take a moment. Now you are in the Scenario Editor. Here is where you'll build out the virtual reality course. On the left side is your Scenes list. You can add more scenes by selecting the blue plus icon and then uploading a 360 video or image. To the right of your scenes list is the menu for scenario settings and publish options. There are several publish and assignment options to help you streamline the publishing process. You can also manage any variables you wish to include in your course here. In the top right corner is the help icon, the add object button, and the edit and preview toggle switch. The Add Object button is where you'll go to add hotspots, quizzes, audio, video, info cards, and more. The Edit and Preview toggle switch allows you to view a live preview of your course at any time to see how the viewer will experience your scenario. Across the bottom of your editor is a play timeline. This is used when using a 360 video to manage triggers that are time-based. Once you have a few objects in your scenario, you can see them listed on the left side beneath the scene they are in. You can select objects either in this list or directly in the scenario. Double-clicking on an object will bring up the editor for that object. Right-clicking on an object will bring up additional options such as copy, paste, or layer ordering. On info cards, a single click will bring up a floating text toolbar that can be used to manage font, size, card style, and other styling options. Scenario VR is also equipped with smart guides to help you easily align objects in your scene. With that information, you're equipped to begin building immersive scenarios in Scenario VR. Give it a try and let us know how it goes in the eLearning Brothers Rockstars community. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out.